Senator, you've gone on record condemning gay marriage. As president, what legislation would you enact, if any? I'm so glad that you asked that question, Joni. I love answering questions from my hometown peeps. I believe, like most Americans, that marriage is a spiritual institution between a man and a woman. Not a man and a man, or another woman and a woman. Next thing you know, people will want to marry their dogs and their children. <laughs> you, Senator's wife. We have to stand up to these kind of people who would destroy this holy sacrament. Marriage is for us, the moral fiber of our society, for the people who understand the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Q. And Karen, back to position. There will be no gay marriage allowed as long as I am president. And if I have to change the Constitution, then that's what I will do to ensure that it is never passed into law. Um, Senator, the president can't change the Constitution. That's all the time I have for tonight, folks. Thank you. God bless America. And vote Rico Sanitarium. Interrupting me in the middle of a press conference, Malcolm. You are my press secretary for a reason. That wasn't it. <clears throat> Understood, Senator. It won't happen again. I know you, Malcolm. You came down here for another reason other than to apologize. Bourbon? Uh, no thank you, Senator. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Beer? Mimosa? A glass of water's fine. Where did the Rico bit come from? We agreed to mark you to the Bible Belt, not some border hoppers. I rolled the dice. Who knows? I may even learn a few words in Spanish and go to Mass. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do for you, Senator? That girl I've been seeing on the side, Beth, she was privy to some pretty sensitive information that might jeopardize my campaign. I need you to go over to her place and see who she's been spending her nights with. Could affect my marriage, too. Hmm. The vow between a man and a woman before God is the most sacred institution on the planet, Malcolm. Never forget that. I'll look into it, sir. I'll let you know what I find out. Getting this, Senator.
Oh, shit! Girlfriend's been cheating with. I don't friggin' believe it. It's true. Karen and I are in love. I am leaving you, Dick. It's no secret that neither of us have been happy in a long while. Karen, the Bible clearly states in Leviticus 14:22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Get bent, Dick. You're cheating on your wife with me. Got a Bible verse for that? Well, I always got a kick out of Ezekiel 23, 19. And yet, she became more and more promiscuous as she recalled the days of her youth when she was a prostitute in Egypt. You're just still pissed about the with time. Why you shut up? This is about my wife leaving me for blasphemy. Not about Malcolm reminiscing being an altar boy. Could be worse, Senator. Your name could become a neologism on the internet. And I think what's really bothering you is your wife leaving for another woman, not another man. What, Senator? What are you doing? Oh, 